नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन सिद्धिपेट डिस्ट्रिक्ट इनवाइट्स यू ऑल टू द ब्रिज कोर्स लेवल फोर राजू हैव यू डाउनलोडेड टी सेट ऐप टी सेट ऐप व्हाई डोंट यू नो वी हैव ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फ्रॉम व्हेन फ्रॉम दिस पास्ट हाउ डू यू नो इट आई रीड इट ऑन द नोटिस बोर्ड Notice board. Today we are going to discuss about one of the minor discourses that is notice. Now, first of all, let us try to know what a notice is. A notice is a formal document written for the purpose of intimating an important announcement. or an agenda or a warning or any schedule now it is not a one to one communication it is a meant for wider communication with a wide group of recipients here i mean to say that if you would like to convey the information to more number of people we generally go for notices now we often see notices being affixed on uh, many in many offices like banks in many public offices or in many business firms we also see notices being affixed or sent in a form of circular or published even in print media now before writing a notice consider the following the first and foremost consider the context the purpose or reason for which the notice is served here i mean to say that before attempting the notice you just keep this thing in your mind that what is the purpose for which you are issuing the notice or writing the notice. now second second thing is that keep the language in your mind it means that use the language to convey the mood like if it is an order you just use a different kind of language if it is a, an instruction use different kind of language or if it is just simply uh, you would like to convey some information use a different kind of language i mean you see that your language is conveying your mood is conveying that particular message or that particular piece of information to the uh, recipient but always i suggest always use formal language now why i am giving a notice always keep these five questions in your mind they are what where why who and who now just think what is the notice about if this idea is in your mind definitely you will use a proper language now where it should be displayed are where something is happening like the information about an event or any occasion now the third question is why it is so whether you are serving this notice to inform the others or you are serving this notice to instruct somebody else to do something now who is serving the notice so when this idea is there in your mind that who is serving the notice you will definitely take proper care of giving proper information about the person who is giving the notice and uh, the last thing is that to whom the notice is being served and who is the recipient is it a uh, big group of people or is it a single individual something like that now don't forget always stick to the layout basically i don't suggest the but for the student in order 
for the student to get more number of marks you just uh, stick to the layout that I'm going to give you a little while after once you finish it writing the notice proofread whether there are any mistakes spelling mistakes or grammatical mistakes now in notices we always use some standard phrases like this is hereby informed or it is to bring to the notice of or you are hereby informed or this piece of information is brought to your notice that so these are some of the sample phrases that I suggested for you that you can make use of these sample phrases before writing any notice here I mean to say that use these sentences in the beginning of the notice the first sentence should be one among these phrases now let's see one sample question the question is imagine you recently read an article in a newspaper that health emergency was declared in a small hamlet close to Siddipet it was declared as a virus from a nearby poultry farm polluting the surrounding areas air and water now write a notice as the secretary of the eco club that there should be a parents meeting in the auditorium of the school as a part of awareness program and to inform about safety measures to be taken if any such question comes in the examination now let's see how the sample answer would be like the first thing you write in the notice board or in the circular is that the name of the office here jet pages gambir for you clearly mention it as in the heading title notice then the date on which the uh, notice is served or on, on, which, on which the notice is prepared here 10th July 2021 and next the body of the notice let's see this is here by informed that there is a meeting of parents in our school auditorium on 20th July 2021 at 10 a.m. Our district authorities are going to visit the school and address us about the safety measures to be taken since health emergency has been declared in our village. So please attend the meeting without fail, issued by Secretary Eco Club. So this is how you can write the notice. Hope this is what I will say that the format of a notice as well. So in the heading line we are using we are writing the office address then clearly we are indicating that this is a notice uh, we are writing the date and then body of the notice and at the end we are writing the uh, what is the details of the person or the office or the officer who is issuing that notice one can say that by looking at this uh, format it is a miniature form of a letter okay now I assume that you are well versed with notice writing now along this video today's videos link I think that your concerned teachers have given you the link for the worksheet as well now dear students please attend the worksheet and uh, answer the questions and practice notice writing good luck to you